this is Laura from LiveVisions.com and I wanted to do a video today um, and give you some information on compatibility with the signs. Now the signs that I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through each sign from Aries to Pisces and I'm going to let you know how you get along with each sign. But when you watch your video, um, just know that you're there's more to a sign than a sun sign or just one element, okay? So maybe when you watch this video you may want to compare sun signs or moon signs or ascendants. You may want to look at your Venus or your Mars, okay? But it's more than just one sign. I just want to make that clear, okay? Well, here we go. Hi, this is Laura um, for Aquarius Compatibility. Now, what does it mean with Aquarius? Aquarius is a sign of the zodiac that is very detached. It's very um, intellectual. It's always thinking. Um, Aquarius is a very, um, I want to say, it keeps a lot and it does have issues communicating. You know, it's about, Aquarius is very big with friends. It's, uh, friends could be very important to an Aquarian. Um, it, it's, groups could be very important. Um, it's usually, it's known as the humanitarian of the Zodiac. So Aquarians really feel, um, they don't like to be possessed in relationships. They're, um, they like to be able to do their own thing, keep their own friends without somebody saying, who is that or why are you with that person? Or they do not like that at all. Uh, Koreans are the, ruled by Uranus. So in a relationship, if they see some red flags, like somebody being possessive or um, insecure, they may break up with you, but they may not even give you an indication. Like they may just leave one day or leave a letter. Or, you know, because Uranus is the planet of the unexpected. And Aquarians sometimes leave without notice when they're ending a relationship. When they start a relationship, though, usually they want to start as friends. So keep this in mind. So what does Aquarius get along with? Like, when it, Aquarius is dating an Aries, um, these two get along okay. Um, Aries is quite, Aries is not clingy or possessive or anything like this, even though Aries can be very, um, childlike, like, uh, when it enters things, it doesn't think and it kind of jumps in quickly without thinking, but Aries, um, and Aquarius, I would say both get along. Um, I don't see issues there. Uh, one thing I will say though, that, um, big would be Aries probably wants to start to get into something right away whereas Aquarius usually takes their time they don't do anything suddenly you know um, except for leaving they do leave suddenly I mean I wouldn't say that Aquarius is adverse to having a one-night stand but I think for a relationship relationship they really want to be friends with that person first you know um, now Taurus Taurus in Aquarius I want to say um, hmm Taurus is a very intellectual sign, so it intellectualizes its emotions. It may not be very, um, I want to say Taurus may not, may just be like on the okay side for Aquarius. Because Taurus likes stability and security, you know? And there's a lot of people who date, uh, who are Taurus is dating Aquarians, you know? But I will say one thing would be communication may be an issue, because Taurus is when they're upset, they may say, all right, you know, I'm really upset with this person and I don't, they don't like drama. Okay, Taurus. So they may say, you know what? It's not, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to do my own thing, you know? And Aquarius kind of says to themselves, you know, I know what this person's doing, but I'm not going to have a fight about it, but I'm just going to put this in the back of my mind. You know, it's like they're not, the communication could be an issue, you know? Um, but there's, I would say attraction between the both of them, you know? Um... What else? I'm trying to see. You know, I, I don't see how they would be adversely, uh, you know, like not get along at all. I could see where they would get along. Neither one likes drama or anything else like that. Um, friends would be key uh, in the beginning. Now, Aquarius and Gemini. This, I want to say, uh, combination goes well together because Gemini... Don't forget, Aquarian is always like has the idea and depends on where you have your Aquarius in your chart. Um, like I'll try anything once, we'll see how it goes, you know. And now Gemini is the type of person where they may want to date more than one person at a time, you know. And let's say that, you know, Aquarius could be rather detached. They don't like the possessive or controlling types. 
So let's say that they're dating a Gemini and the Gemini says, well, would you be open to dating this person with me? Like a three, three partner thing. They may say, yeah, you know, because Aquarius is like, you know, they're detached in relationships. They're not totally like, they can separate themselves in that regard, you know? So they may be open to that. So that may work with Gemini. Um, you know, Aquarians can be attracted to things that are not the most conventional. Let's put it that way. So, um, so this could work for them. Now, and they're both air signs and they're both thinkers as far as relationships go. So they're both going to intellectualize the relationship. They're not going to get all feeling, feeling about it, you know. So if you say uh, Aquarius and Cancer, I don't think this is going to be good at all. Mm -mm, no way. Because Cancer is really sensitive. Cancer wants that really deep connection and Cancer wants to be like, on your mind, let's talk about feelings. And Aquarius is like, no thanks. Pretend like I did. I don't want to do this. Let's not say I did. You know, Aquarius is like, um, you know, there's a detachment there. And Cancer won't be liking that detachment. And Cancer's emotions will be up and down. And Aquarius is not going to like this because they don't like to deal with those emotions. You know? So I want to say this is not the best combination. Um, Aquarius and Leo. Well, these, these people date a lot because it's like, bow, chicka, bow, wow, that's your opposite sign. So the uh, Leo represents your shadow side, you know, so you would be very attracted to Leo and Leo would be very attracted to you. Both of you are very secure in yourselves. You're very independent. You're not really clingy or uh, possessive or insecure. Um, so th this goes together really, really well for both of you, you know. Um, both of you are pretty strong in your signs, you know, so there's a lot of attraction here too. But there could be a lot of bumping heads, you know, because, um, you know, I want to say, you know, you guys could be a little stubborn, you know. You guys could be on the stubborn side, you know, of things, so, um... But for the most part, though, like, whenever you're dating your opposing sign, you're going to bump heads. Let's put it that way, you know. Um, Aquarius is a fixed sign. So that could be pretty stubborn. And so is Leo, you know. Leo is a fixed sign, too. So I will say, um, so, you, you know, I want to say bumping heads could be a big thing. Um, but you... you there's a lot of, I will say, a lot of intense attraction between these two signs, big time. So, um, one, you know, it's funny too, another reason Aquarians like Leos. Aquarians like people and groups of people, right? And uh, Leos attract people, right? So whenever you see a Leo, you're going to see an Aquarian following them around. They're attracted to them because they love, Leos bring in the people and, and Aquarians love groups of people, you know? So that's another reason. Um, what else? Aquarius and, uh, Virgo. Um, this is an okay thing. Intellectually, they can, they can really get along, but, uh, Virgo would be more analy analytical. Um, I want to say Aquarian is usually very far in their thinking. They're very, um, intellectual themselves, but very advanced in their thinking. Um, they could get along. I wouldn't say this would be a horrible, horrible combination. They would, I would think, get along. Um, the only thing that I would think that would drive Aquarius nuts would be uh, Virgo being too analytical about him or her, the person themselves, not like about a, a subject. But if you make them too analytical about themselves, they would get irritated. You know, I just don't think that would be the best combination. Um, Aquarius and Libra is good. Uh, both of them are air signs. They would get along really well. Aquarius could be rather detached. Libra does need to be in a relationship, so it feels really comfortable in a relationship. Um, and Aquarius has the idea, you know, Aquarians can be kind of have that feeling of I can take you or leave you kind of energy, you know, and I could take it or leave it. doesn't matter, you know. So they're very secure when it comes to relationships. And Libra, though, a lot of times doesn't know what they want. So they're not going to be secure or possessive because Aquarius does not want to be possessed or be with someone who's insecure in any way, shape, or fashion. So this would be a pretty good combination. And they're both air signs, so they're both thinkers. You know, they intellectualize their feelings rather than feel right away and, and act on those feelings. 
Um, Aquarius and Scorpio, not a good combination at all. Um, you know, Scorpio is really intense and Aquarius would be probably, um, uncomfortable with the intensity of Scorpio, you know, like, oh my gosh, this person is so intense. Like, uh, I need to back off, you know? So if you come on really strong and you're a Scorpion, like, oh my God, I could see us together. I could see our children. Like, do you think that you could marry somebody like, you know, Aquarius could be like, yeah, peace out. I'm not there yet, honey. You know, they may, they may really be a little, um, too much intensity would push them away because they're a very detached sign, you know, so this would not be a good combination. Um, Aquarius and Sagittarius. These two would go along okay together. They're both intellectual. Um, I would say Sagittarius would be more passionate than Aquarius. And Aquarius's nature of detachment would work well, especially if Sagittarius liked to travel and go places on their own. Aquarius wouldn't mind. So this would work well for them. Um, now Aquarius and Capricorn. Well, this would be I want to say kind of a flatlined relationship. The Capricorn is kind of like the least emotional in the zodiac. And Aquarian is, Aquarius is not known for expressing its feelings. It's known for kind of keeping its feelings hidden and in. So I wouldn't say this would be the best combo. It would be kind of like, I don't see it going anywhere. You know what I mean? Um, so that's just me. If you differ from below, write your comments if you're dating somebody. But, you know, for the most part, though, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see that going too well. Um, they could be both intellectual. They could be both, I want to say they're both not clingy, so that's good. Uh, they're both uh, career-minded, um, so that would be a good point. But I want to say, you know, um, you know, I just don't see this... There being a lot of attraction here, though. But anyway, if you if you know someone, you can comment below on this. If you you know like somebody who's a Capricorn, maybe for you, maybe it depends on other planets you have in your chart. Um, all right, so Aquarius and Pisces. Now, this one, not so much. I want to say because Pisces is a, is a water sign, and it's it's very uh, its feelings do run deep. You know, it's a very creative sign. Both of these signs are very creative people. One is more intellectually creative about thinking and ways of like maybe inventing things. And the other one could be creative in the way of like um, fantasy books or writing and fantasy or music or singing, something like this. They're both very creative signs, but I, I just don't see them in an emotional level. Pisces could be a little overwhelming for Aquarius. Well, anyway, this is my synopsis of Aquarius compatibility. I hope you liked it. Comment below. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. And I will be putting out more videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.